All right, welcome back. So we've got a no heat call again. I'm gonna do quickly is just check this, see if I got any faults. Oops. Don't see any faults. We got power. It's random. Let's see. Um, dang it! I don't want to take this off without grabbing my fault. Let me try again. Okay, so I grabbed the fault. It's doing one flash. So, if I'm not mistaken, that might be. Oh, that's probably just a lag out. We got one flash. Darn it. Yeah. System lockout. That sucks. Cool, no worries. What we're gonna do is go ahead and recycle the system. Let this thing fire up. I noticed it's got one of those old style Looks like the original skinny hot service igniter. And she's firing. Hot service igniter is lighting up. Flame sensor looks to be fairly clean. Nothing. That's probably the hot service igniter, to be honest with you. Um, it didn't trigger. So what I'm gonna do? I heard a little bit of hissing coming from the gas valve. Heard a little bit of hissing coming from the gas valve. And I smell it as well at the manifold. So what I'm gonna do? is check my inlet and outlet pressure of this gas valve. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly check the amp draw. See how many amps this gas valve, uh, this hot surface igniter is pulling. It's clicked on. It's about 1.3. Now it's total inrush kind of, and then it's 0 0.84, 0 0.84 amps, pretty low amp draw. Alrighty, I'm going to start off from checking my manifold pressure, figure may as well start there. If it's not enough the manifold, I'll check my inlet. Catch it this time. I'll have to do that again. Cycle that. Check the inrush current. gas valve perfect we've got pressure 3.8 inches of water column so yeah hot surface igniter is our issue and these are pretty common to fail in these Goodman's not to mention let's see here okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my little bit extension slash 45 let's go ahead and access this go ahead and access this here nut on the hot surface lighter there she goes it's weird how these things fail too because they don't fail out due to resistance and they don't fail out due to... Well, so I guess they could, but as you can see, it's still running. Let's see how white this has gotten. But if we own this out, I'm sure it'll own within, you know, tolerances, what it should for resistance, 50, 45 to 50, 45 maybe to 80 ohms. Let's I'm gonna use this uh, Kuwait meter today. Pretty sweet little meter, I'm not gonna lie about it. Uh, they sent it out to me. Comes with a thermocouple. 
I'm gonna do a proper view. Don't get me wrong. This is just kind of. I'm gonna check this ohms real quick. The resistance values on this thing. So I'm gonna use this. No big deal. It's auto as well. So check this out. So it's calibrating like such. Now what it is. automatically um, go between volts, DC, AC, resistance, uh, a couple other things, but it's pretty sweet meter in that sense. So I'm just going to quickly put the two probes. It's not really smiled upon to do it back through here but it's, it's not this thing is shot so we'll check our resistance here there you go 58 59 ohms not bad but the hot surface igniter has definitely failed and I'm going to show you how I know I'm going to swap it out swap it out with one of these here maybe the hot rod the thing you want to make sure when you're doing swapping out with this hot rod, look at this. Hot rod is slightly shorter, okay? I don't know if you can really see that, but that makes a big difference in how this thing fires. So I'm going to go ahead and do, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, see this is on friction fitted on, this little ceramic portion, how it's affixed to the metal here. I can literally... I'm going to do is slide this down. Watch. It's sliding. You just can't tell. So yeah, we'll see. As you can see, it's sliding down nicely. Boom. Perfect. And we just want to refit it. Don't crush anything. Just squeeze just enough. Boom. Just enough to get that friction fitted. And uh, I don't mind it being slightly longer. I just don't want it to be shorter. So, now look at that fit. Voila. I should have shown you that it wasn't, it wouldn't have fired up if I would have put it in without, without adjusting it. But it is what it is. I, I don't want time for that. Put it back in and take it out type stuff. Just deal with it put it in you know it needs to be done so now what I'm going to do is cut this here off and wire nut these together Don't ever use the wire nuts that come with these these stupid things, the garbage. Use proper blue or gray wire nuts. Pick may as well splice all this together while you got it out and it's easily accessible, right? I think I went for the blue, whatever. Done there. Pop that back there. Now you're not really able to see what I'm doing, but just know that I'm doing what needs to be done. Okay. Put this uh, strapped out of the way. Let's just watch it first. Make sure she runs.
go. So, if you ever come across one of these, particularly Goodman's, don't give up on the hot surface igniter when you ohm it out. And, um, you know, especially if you try changing out with one of these, you have to adjust it. You can't just take it out of the box and throw it in there. You have to adjust it so it's the same depth, if not more depth, than the original factory one. So, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and wire and wire strap this to the manifold. Ah, my goodness. Splinter. No, I'm not going to wear it. See it firing up. Ready for it. 